hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome if you're old here thank you for always watching my video so today's makeup tutorial is on this colorful eyeshadow look i'm wearing it i started the series a couple of weeks back and i am on the third series of colorful eyeshadow look for women of color so if you're a dark skinned woman and you're a woman of color and you want to see how to rock colorful eyeshadow look and also how to blend them seamlessly please keep watching and don't go anywhere and if you haven't subscribed to my channel the subscribe link is down below if you cannot click on the subscribe link just click that cute red button that says subscribe and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for watching so let's get on with this video for to see how to create this look I'll be starting as a makeup tutorial with that green shade, that green shade on the House of Tara Mago Ebu palette and I'm using a small smudge brush to carve out my crease line. I'm just doing this gently so that I can get into my crease line with a small smudge brush. The next color I'm going to be using is this burnt orange from the same palette and I'm still going to be using that same brush just to add a little intensity or just to change the color a bit so that it doesn't look all greeny the next color I'm going in is the lighter green shade and I am switching brush this is a blending brush from classic also so I'm just blending out the orange and the green I used initially the next color I'm going to be going back in is with the burnt orange and this time with a pointed crease brush I'm just trying to even out all the colors around my crease line going in with this LA girl concealer this shade is in creamy beige I wanted a very very light concealer so that I can help pop the color I'm going to use on my lid the first color is this very lovely blue shade from the Juvia Space palette and I'm going to be patting this with a flat eyeshadow brush from my inner corners just around my inner corners basically the next color is this gorgeous green color and I'm going to be placing this next to the blue shade I used first. So I just split the back of my brush and I'm using this to apply it using tapping motion. The next shade is this blue and purple so I'm just going to be mixing the two colors just for intensity. And I'm applying this next to the green shade. So I'm just taking my time patting the colors in. So that I could get the true color of the true color of the shade. So going in with this ash like dark color from Tails Cosmetics, I'm using a small smudge brush to just cover out my outer crease and I'm dragging it slightly into half of my crease. Going in with the dark green and the light green, I'm using the same smudge brush to cover my crease line again because it felt like the green was disappearing. Going in with a more pointed blending brush, I'm just blending everything together. That basically sums up the entire look. So this is very easy to create. My foundation is from the Absolute New York HD Flawless Foundation, and I'm just using a foundation blending brush to just blend this into my skin quickly. Highlight is from Milani Secret Cover in 03. So I'm using a flat foundation brush to blend this in. I already lined my eyes and I did my lashes off camera. If you want to see a detailed tutorial on how to do my lashes, I'm going to drop the link in the description box so that you can go and watch it. So I'm basically going to be creating the same color I used on my lid. So first applying the concealer under my eyes, then I'm going to go with the blue, the green, the purple and the black shade. Using my flat eyeshadow brush. I couldn't find my smudge brush and cleaning it was going to take so much time. So I'm lining my lips with this Kiss Beauty Jumbo Pencil, I'm, I can't remember the name or the number. I'm just smacking and the first gloss I'm going to be using is from Milani Lip Gloss in High Shine Something Something Shine Best Secret and I'm just smacking. I really didn't like how it came out so I went in with my glazing liquid matte lipstick and I'm applying this on the center and I'm smacking 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 so guys this is the finished look I hope you enjoyed this video if you do do thumbs up and I'll see you all in my next video bye guys